Today's reading comes from Luke chapter 15 verses 11 to 29 the parable of the lost son or better known as the prodigal son. Jesus continued. There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare, and here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again, he was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. The older brother became angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years have been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill the fattened calf for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. 32 But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. The meaning, as many of Jesus's parables, is that we can be lost, but we will always be welcome in the home of God. All we have to do is ask for forgiveness and we will be welcomed home. I have seen this scenario take form in Southeast Asia where men abandon their families for a taste of their youth only to lose their family in the process. Their children don't talk to them, they are divorced and their own families disown them. The only thing they have is regret. Some will take their own life instead of facing reality. In this parable, it is the aim situation. A man takes his birthright and spends it foolishly on wine, women and song. Then his money runs out. He has to become a laborer whom sleeps and shares food with pigs. He becomes an indentured servant working as a paid slave until he can save money to go home and when he does he is welcomed with open arms by his father whom rejoices that his son is home and alive. God will welcome us at any time with open arms and great rejoice. This is an ongoing theme with Jesus. You can repent and all will be forgiven and forgotten. God loves you in such way you cannot imagine. Your name will be met with such fanfare when you repent and come home. There is nothing to compare God's love to. Let Jesus into your heart and you will be blessed a million times over. That will do it for today. I hope to see you here next week. Thank you and God bless.